M0FXB, iRadio, UV98, Radtail 880. Thanks to Radtail for their firmware and software. The passwords are on the screen. We're testing this out. We're looking forward to testing the Radtail 880G model, the sort of GPS APRS model. And the links for the non-GPS model is in the description. Thanks to, thank you to Radtail again. So let's download the software. So we won't do the firmware in this one, we'll do the CPS. Uh, I have made a video on the firmware. So the CPS is just here. Click it, download, you'll get it in your download file just here. It does want the password that you can see in the background, which is 2525, and then it's 88, and then four zeros. Click OK, and then you've got the software. So then you just double click. The folder so I'm trying to make sure you can see this it's got so many things on screen here double click the yellow folder you get the XC double click and then it just suddenly appears click more info with the red right, there you go click more info then run anyway click yes screen goes black and it just suddenly appears okay so there's the software now in this video what we're looking at is actually the APRS side of it let me just connect my cable which I did make I bought myself a TTL adapter this kind of thing and on it you've got a, a plus and a and a negative, positive, negative, but you also got RX, TX, and then you splice a any USB-C cable, uh, and then obviously you need one end that goes into the radio, and the other end that goes into your, this, this thing will plug into your PC. The one I used was more like this actually, one end had a big USB-C, and then if you look at the other end, you've got five volt there, You've got TX RX and then you've got ground, okay? I didn't use the three volt thing. And that's it. Then it just worked. Plug that into the ray into my device and it worked. And then we cables in, connected, we go right click, device manager. Bit laggy today. COM eleven there, look, COM eleven. So you need to know your COM number. Then you go to the port select and you want to be selecting 11. Yes, on mine, on yours it may be different. Then we're going to go read like so. And the firmware process worked really well. Very pleased how well that went. And it is Radtail firmware, so you have to, you know, cheers to Radtail. All right. That's it, loaded. It did give me an error. Let's see. Oh, it's still in there, I think. Let's go to com let's go to channels. Yeah, there's all my channels. So what we're looking at is the actual extended menu just here at the end. So you've got DTMF time, then extend. And we we're not using oh look at that, I didn't see that. Oh, so is there going to be some Bluetooth module, is there? I'm going to go enable Bluetooth. Um, pairing code. I'm going to trans write that to the radio just to see what happens. So it looks like eventually we'll be able to program this radio via Bluetooth. Didn't know that was there. So this is in their newer software by Radtel. That is interesting. Look on the top of the screen there. That is a Bluetooth symbol. Let me just check my phone, see if I'm receiving that. And if you actually look here, I'm going to try it. Look, you've got audio mode and program mode. Mic gain, speaker gain. You can put a code. Local speaker in Bluetooth, local mic. I'm just going to stick it and write that to the radio. And then I'm going to grab my Bluetooth speaker. Let's see if it picks up anything. Um, well, it's definitely showing it. That's that's. I'm completely fascinated. And then we're going to do the APRS thing. Honestly, I'm going to write that to the radio with the old. I've got. I've selected audio mode. I'm going to grab my little Bluetooth speaker. 
Okay. Well, I've got it on, but the, there's no speaker coming out of my Bluetooth at the moment. Yeah, like that guy said, worth a try. Anyway, Bluetooth is going to happen. Let's face facts. So, back to APRS. Well, what I have noticed in the software, there is a Bluetooth shortcut. I'm going to set my number 8 to Bluetooth. And let's set number 7, why not, to GPS. Now, I know that there's no GPS module in this. Can we set number 6 maybe to APRS? Let's see if it finds it. Spectrum. Now, I'm not seeing any APRS settings yet, so maybe that's keep going. That's the normal channels. We might as well set an APRS channel 144. Um, let's get it right. Dot 800. Uh, no CTCSS. Just seeing if there's any selections for APRS, not seeing anything obvious. So we're just going to go APRS. In the in the USA, it's one point four nine hundred. So anyway, that's in there. Uh, we could make a zone APRS. The idea of that is you can put a channel into the the APRS channel that we've just made into that zone. And it finds it easier. Zone name here. Let's give that a name. Um, let's call this one repeaters. Not sure why that wasn't there. Remember, this is you know, it's very good software, but it's there's still a lot of development going on. Um, we've got airbound there, so I could do this one just for example. This zone could be airbound. The important one for you that I think you'll find important, we're in airband and then we just go to the airband one and put that in, is the radio, the the radio memory. These is where you, this is where you can get rid of your annoying Chinese that you can't read writing. Um, and you can put in 80 meters, look, we've got 7.159, 20 meters there, 20 meters. Ah, we need to change one of these to 80, don't we, by the looks of it. So let's change that one to, uh, and you do need to select the right range of channels here. If you look here, if you want HF, look, 2 to 30. If you want CB, you go 64 to 108, I think. No, you wouldn't. That's broadcast. Uh, no, of course, 2 to 30 would cover it. Yeah, silly me. Right. Just going to put in a, an 80 meter one here. Uh, just for now, 3.700. And this one I've called it 40. So it's up to you what you do. So you go, I'm going to put seven there and then 20. And then we've got CB here, 10 meters. Yeah, that's better. And again, I'm just going to quickly write that to the radio. Oh, there's a cable in. Uh, it could be because someone's speaking. Let's try again. Okay, let's unplug it and plug it back in. I can see that someone is speaking. So you might have to turn it off, turn it back on, I think, before we write. And I'm finding that I have to do that every now and again. Well, I can hear the station. Let's just do write. Yeah, that's going in now. So basically I have to reboot. So there you go. Um, and... Should we try that shortcut for Bluetooth? We put it on number eight. So we see if it even works. Okay, right. Click OK. But you can see it's reading and writing fine. Yeah. Let it reboot. I hear it clicking away. Mine says full band because it's got the new firmware in it. In full band, you can actually select. You can have CB on the top band and then you can have 70s and other bands all mix and match. You don't have to change the work range which normally reboots the radio, which is handy. Um, and to enable that, you just hold down the bottom arrow once you've loaded the firmware and turn on, and it puts you into that mode. But anyway, let's just hold down the Bluetooth, see if that goes off on number eight. 
and it just says GPS not okay. So let me just see if I did put that on eight. So we go to key. Now I have put Bluetooth for someone at their testing on my cool. One, three. peanut Tokyo Japan in the background. Right. Anyway, um, so well I did that and look number eight says Bluetooth, and it just says no GPS. So okay, there you are. Uh, right. Let's keep looking, and then I think we're coming to an end now. I was hoping to find a PRS. We've got extended menu. We've got GPS. Yeah, it says extended function is not a standard feature, you know, so need to buy the new radio. I mean, it'd be nice if we could just fit a module. I'm sure people will want it. Uh, local mic in Bluetooth, da da da. We tried all that. So I got a feeling. It needs a GPS module as well. Power on. Image that we've done already. Config. Just look in here. There's your work range. Beeps, key, frequency. That's your different areas, A, B, and C. All mine are set to frequency mode. Let's do one to channel mode. Um, area A. That's your zone and channel. So that's your default sort of boot up. It doesn't give the, it'd be nice if that had the name of the zone, wouldn't it? If I notice if we look at the screen when you're in zone mode, um, by pressing the hash, it doesn't actually, yeah, I just did it there. It doesn't actually give the zone name, which I think we'd prefer. Uh, let's make sure you can see what I'm tinkering with. Yeah, you can, right. La, la, I'm still looking for APRS. So no, no sign of APRS. Am I blind? The, the power test. These are tweaks. See these at the end here? You can tweak the settings. Uh, including the power, or mainly the power, I would say. Noise, so you've got RSSI TH test, noise TH test, what's that? Power test, what's that, you know? Um, speaker gain, DAC gain, TX mic gain. Oh, look, Roger, we don't want Roger. I'll turn that off. Uh, squelch level about three. I normally like. Du, du, du. Config one key unlock key beep. I I like the beeps. Display brightness alarm TX. Oh yeah, UV repeater. That's basically cross band, which does work. Frequency step channel mode. No. Config two. Key, we know what the keys are. Adding channels, very straightforward, you know, just the usual. Put your frequency in 145.750, and then obviously change it for transmit if you're going to do a repeater. Put your transmit tone in, which is 94.8 for that. With GB3 Bravo Charlie, just here, and then you put the name in, just here. GB3 Bravo Charlie. Now, when it comes to importing and exporting, oh, let's just not do that. Uh, file you can save and give it a name. Save. So you can save files and reopen them. Read, write, change language, help. The software is version 1.01. 1 .01. Um, zones, FM radio, DTMF. Automatic power off, calibrate radio time. How does that work? I just clicked it to see what it would do. Extend. This is where I would ex expect to see the Bluetooth, the APRS stuff. So we should do it in programming mode. 
right to radio and just see if it because sometimes there is a, a module and I know there's no Bluetooth I know there's no GPS I think there's no APRS um, just gonna see if <coughs> pick up any any Bluetooth when that reboots so I know my phone I'm using this to detect this is my radio phone and it's picking up this speaker, no problem. I I recommend you get one of these little baby things. Very handy for testing and just fun. Um, so Bluetooth says that it's on, and and I'm still searching. See if anything is uh picked up here, and it's and it's not. Well, thanks for watching. So. You know, the common sense thing is to hang on, isn't it, for the GPS model. But then we wouldn't have had all this fun. I am going to get a GPS model. I, 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 it makes no difference to me if it's iRadio or Radtail. But out of respect to Radtail, because they're doing the software, the firmware, the next one I get will be a Radtail 880G. Uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye.